All right, I am going to kind of show you the setup row for the Cloverleaf Baby Blanket, the, the Eyelid Baby Blanket. Um, and this is just going to, I think it will really help those of you who have been having a problem with it. The setup row, it's not hard. It just, you have to be careful. You have to count your stitches. And oh, by the way, I love my Lord, gorgeous Mendy. I went to a wedding this weekend, an Indian wedding. So this will be here for a little while. I don't know how long it takes funny this was done Friday night this was Saturday and I think they used two different inks two different hennas I think there's henna for dark skinned people and light skinned people and I got one of each anyway it's all good um okay so what I have done uh, the um the blanket calls for a multiple of 81 181 stitches multiple of eight plus seven and that's for the body and then six which is three each side for the border okay I didn't do 181 I think I did 53 ish um, let's see 40 plus seven. yeah 53 so I did a multiple of 8 times 5 is 40 plus 7 is 47 plus 6 is 53 okay so that's how I got to my 53 8 I'm sorry you weren't seeing that so 8 times 5 is 40 plus 7 is 47 and then 6 for the borders is uh, 53 so this is 53 stitches I've done like the seed stitch border and I um, now I'm getting ready to work so I'm basically done you know the first five rows and I'm getting ready to start the sixth row which is the row that seems to just really flummox folks and at the end of the day it's all about counting your stitches and it's about using little stitch markers okay um, I'm not a stitch marker person in general but I have learned the hard way with lace patterns that they really do help things. All right, so so let's go ahead and work the first three stitches in seed stitch. Okay. I also got my nails done, which I never do for this wedding. Oh, I swear, I wasn't even out of the salon when I gummed up that nail, right? whatever my toes are all gummed up everything's all gummed up that's why I don't get my nails done it just is a waste, it's a waste of money I wasn't even at the wedding the first night and they were all gummed up um, all right so I've seed stitched my first three stitches then we're gonna knit two okay so I'll be taking this nail polish off this week knit two okay yarn over so for yarn over bring your yarn up front like like you would if you were going to purl. Okay, bring your yarn up front and then with the yarn up front, slip one. Okay, just slip and then you're going to knit two together. Okay, so your yarn's still up front, right? But when you go to knit those two together, see you're coming over. Ba bam. Now you've created a stitch right here. That was the yarn over. Okay, here's the slip one, here's the knit two together. That yarn over is going to make a hole when we go back and we purl the back side. Okay, these are the holes that if you're, when you're knitting, you're not trying to make a hole. If you get it up front when you're supposed to be knitting, you're gonna get a hole. And if you have it in the back when you're supposed to be purling, you're gonna get a hole, okay? Accidentally, this is on purpose, okay? So we purposely made a yarn over right there and that's gonna be part of the lace pattern. Then we slipped one and we knit two together. Now we're gonna do the PSSO, pass slip stitch over. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the slip stitch, which was right before the knit two together, and we're gonna pull it over, okay? And then we're gonna yarn over again. And then we're gonna place a marker right after our yarn over. Then we're gonna knit five. So once again, see that yarn over is gonna make one. Okay, there's the new one we just made, so one, so knit five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yarn over again. So bring your yarn up front, slip one. Okay, knit two together. Okay. So we've just made that one. Slip, pass, slip stitch over. Pass that bad boy over, okay? Yarn over, 
So now we should have eight stitches, including this yarn over. So let's count two, four, six, eight. All right. So put your marker in there. All right. And we're just going to keep repeating that. So one, two, three, four, five, yarn over. So bring your yarn up front, slip one, knit two together, PSSO, pass slip stitch over, and yarn over. So once again, we should have eight, two, four, six, eight. Put that marker there. Okay, remember that eight stitch is gonna be kind of squirrely because it hasn't really been made yet, but you know it's gonna be made after you put the marker on and you knit those next five. One, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over, Yarn over and count two, four, six, eight. Place that guy there. I hope this is helping those of you who've had problems with this. Three, four, five. I don't know if you can hear the wind outside. It is doing something crazy today. It's not storming, it's just really windy. Okay, pass slip stitch over, yarn over, I was talking, so hopefully I did right, two, four, six, eight, yep. over, yarn over, place marker, and let's count, we should have eight, two, four, six, eight, okay, then we knit two, and seed stitch, all right, now, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So that was the setup row. And honestly, if you get the setup row, you're good. It becomes a lot easier, truthfully. That first row is the one that just stymies so many people. So, but let's just keep going. So now on the purl side, super easy, you're just purling, okay? But this is where all your work that you just did on the front side kind of really starts to show after you get a purl row and after you purl the row you just worked on. Whoops. Okay, carry those stitch markers with you. They will be your lifesaver. Okay, so we're working that yarn over and see it just creates a hole right there. Then we're gonna work the next yarn over. And a lovely hole, all right. You shouldn't, you really shouldn't have to count on the purl row because you're not really doing anything but purling. You're not, you know, increasing or decreasing. That's the whole thing that stymies people, the increasing and decreasing. Okay, we're at the end of the purl row. And I'm gonna turn and we're gonna work the next row. Okay, so there's our setup row. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we just purled, now we're going to go with eighth row. Okay, we're going to uh, slip, uh, seed stitch the first three. Then we're going to knit three, okay. Okay. 
yarn over, so bring your yarn up front, slip slip knit. So slip, slip, and then take your left hand needle, put it in those two, take your yarn and knit those. Okay, that's another decrease. Okay, so we just slip slip knitted those. We're gonna pass that over. Um, slip slip, okay, now we're gonna knit six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yarn over and slip slip knit. Slip knit. So we had one yarn over, we had an increase and a decrease in that row. Okay, the yarn over and the slips at knit. So we still should be at eight stitches, two, four, six, eight. All right, so move your marker. So you knit the six, one, two. So one thing remember, you, you need, for all that, for any increase you do, you have to, off, to have an offsetting decrease. So one, five, six. Okay, so I just made a yarn over. I'm making a yarn over here, so I have to have a decrease, and that's my slip slip knit. All right. So I didn't count, but let's count just to be sure to get in that habit. Two, four, six, eight. This is a pain in the patootie if you have to frog it because these yarn overs. They just don't work well when you try to take them off your needle and put them back on. It, it just is a hot mess. So you really, this is where like an ounce of prevention is worth the pound of cure. 100%. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yarn over. Slip, slip. Knit. Two, four, six, eight. And being um, cautious like this, like counting after thing, does not come naturally to me. I'm kind of a balls to the walls gal, <laughs> but I've ripped out one too many lace thing and I've learned the hard way. So on a lace pattern with increases and decreases, I'll always be using stitch markers. Okay, six, yarn over, whoops. Slip, slip, knit. All right, I'm gonna finish this row. This is the eighth row. And then I'm just going to purl all the way back and there's no reason that you need to watch that because that's boring. So I'm going to do that and I will pick you up at the, I'm gonna turn this over and purl every stitch all the way back. Okay, like I did the first time. And I'll meet you at the end of the row. Okay, so I just did one purl row back. So I just finished row nine. Okay, I did the, you saw me do the sixth row, part of the seventh row, the eighth row, and I just did the ninth row, which was a purl row. And you can see our pretty little clovers there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, um, I just finished nine, so 10th and 11th, row are just knit pearl all right so just do those knit pearls and then i'll come back again all righty so now we have done we are on row uh 12 we're starting row 12 okay so and you can see how pretty that looks all right and it's not hard it's counting stitches and it's using markers all right so Let's go ahead and I'm gonna get you started on this one just to show you the difference. And then I think you will be well on your way. So we're gonna knit, we're gonna do seed stitch for the first three. Okay. And then we're gonna knit one. And then the pattern starts. I should have told you to pull these little markers out. Um, because the eight stitches is going to shift over, okay? 
So that's okay, we have extras, and what we'll do is we'll pull them out as we get to them. All right, so, um, where am I? 12, so I knit one, okay, and then I'm gonna knit five. So I could put one here, all right, I'll go ahead and put one there, because here, this starts the pattern. So knit five, um, one, two, three, four, let's let that stitch marker fall out, five, okay, knit five, yarn over, slip one, knit two together, pass slip stitch over, yarn over. So once again, we should have eight here, two, four, six, eight. So it's the same pattern that we had before. We just moved it over a little bit, moved it up, I guess. So let's knit five. Three, oops, four, let that guy fall out, five. So we've got the knit five in there, yarn over, slip one, knit two together, Pass slip stitch over, yarn over. Put your marker in, we should have eight. Two, four, six, eight, yep, okay. All right, and so bait, you were just repeating what you did, you've just moved it up, you just repeat in the process um, for the whole blanket, actually. For, and you'll have a lovely blanket at the end. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Have a great day.